Hello and welcome. We're going to solve this problem together, but first I would maybe get some graph paper, pause the video, and sketch this circle out in the graph, and try and answer the question on your own. You might be surprised what you can do. Let's start by reading the question together. I'll read up here. The circle shown below is centered at 0, 0. So here's the center of the circle. That's usually called the origin and it passes through point P located at 2, 0. So here's point P, and they're telling you, oh, I'll just write it larger, P equals 2, comma, 0. Now let's read this part here. The circle is dilated. That means it's either enlarged or reduced. Dilated means about the origin, right, with the center of dilation about the origin. That means we multiply every point in our graph, every point by a scale factor, it's a number that we multiply by. And in general, scale factors, I like to use the variable k. So dilation means we're going to multiply every point by some number k. And that's going to either make the shape larger or smaller. Here, the scale factor is 0.5. If the scale factor, so if k equals 1, right, nothing changes. And that's, isn't that cool? Like, just like when you multiply by 1, nothing changes. With dilations, if you multiply by 1, the shape stays the same. If k is bigger than 1, right, the shape enlargens. I think that's a word, enlargens. If k is less than 1, right, now this gets a little bit tricky here. If k is a fraction, essentially less than 1 but bigger than 0, the shape reduces. Now, when you have negative k is when it gets less than 0. So if k actually goes down all the way to negative 1, right? If it goes down to negative 1, if it's in that range right there, the shape will reduce. Uh, but actually, it's kind of cool. If you, and you can mess around with this, you take a shape, and if you have a k that's actually uh, less than negative 1, the shape enlargens again, which is really neat. Um, enlargens. Again, I think that's a word. So we're, we're not really dealing with negative k's, but I think for our purposes here, we need to know that if k is 1, nothing changes. If it's bigger than 1, it gets, the shape gets bigger. And if we have a fraction, essentially the shape's going to get smaller. So here in this shape, they told us that the shape has already been dilated with the scale factor of 5, right? The, the circle is dilated with the center of dilation, a scale factor of 0.5. So they're telling us that we're going to take this shape and we're going to dilate it with a scale factor of 0.5. So every point, I'm going to use p as a reference, is going to be multiplied by 1 half. So 2, 0, we're going to multiply by k equals 0 0.5. So that means we take 2, multiply it by a half, and we get 1. Take 0, multiply it by a half, we still get 0. That's going to bring us to this point right here. And the same is going to happen to all the other corresponding points in the circle. We get a smaller circle right here. And then when we say we're translating the shape up three units, that means we slide every point up three units. So this top point is going to go from 0, 1 to 0, 4. So that means our point right here that's been dilated to 1, 0 is now going to be moved up to 1, 3, and so on and so forth. All of these points are going to be moved up, and the circle is going to be now up here. So what are the coordinates of P? Well, let's just follow that. P was at 2, 0, then uh, 1, 0. And then we moved up to 1, 3. That's our new point, which is B. Thanks.